Okay, emergency video, completely unplanned. In fact, you were supposed to be watching a guide which was going to be a complete breakdown of all the new Fire King support and how it worked and how it operated, how you could use the cards in conjunction, some of the things to look out for, et cetera, et cetera. Don't worry, that video's still coming. It's just, I'm gonna push it back a few days. But right now, we got something a little more imminent to talk about and I'm doing a little bit of spitballing here. So I made a video earlier this week, I think it was either Monday or Tuesday talking about the new Master Duel ban list and how much I like their bold and unapologetic approach to their Forbidden and Limited list. While some of the moves arguably didn't make a lot of sense, most notably Math Mech Diameter going to Limited status, which I still really haven't heard any good theories on why that took place or no one has really been able to make sense of it. There were ones like Tempest going to semi-limited and Zodiac Dryden going to three that I don't think anyone saw coming. I went on to talk about how much I really like these moves and how this approach could open up the door for more bold moves like maybe freeing all the dragon rulers or moving Zodiac Barrage to limited status and then you know maybe some of this energy could trickle to the TCG and we could see some of these moves there because obviously you're gonna have some players out there who would look forward to being able to play like all four dragon rulers build some sort of dragon ruler deck or you know assemble a Zodiac deck take it to locals etc etc. Well, before players even got used to that banless update, and technically before it even officially went into effect, Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel basically added an addendum or an update and put out a second banless within the span of a week. Both ban lists will combine together and they're gonna make the official December 5th Master Duel Forbidden and Limited list update, which obviously we're about to talk about right now. So for starters, Performer Power Monkey Gord has been unbanned and moved to limited status. There's not a ton to say here because Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel is kind of the last one to the party with this card. Monkey Board has been at limited status for some time in the TCG and the OCG as well. Even with Electromite, it doesn't seem like pendulums or anything too strong or anything thing to write home about so I think that this one is cool but nothing too crazy next up we have redox dragon ruler of the boulders and title dragon ruler of waterfalls being unbanned and going to limited status in my opinion this is amazing this is what people want to see this is in fact what I brought up in my very last video I think that it's time free all the dragon rulers and finally one of the three sectors of the Yu-Gi-Oh TCG has actually done it People always say, well, I don't know, Cap, what about Redox's Monster Reborn effect? That's kind of bananas, but again, I'll reiterate, what decent competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! archetype or deck doesn't already have one of those? In fact, not only does almost every competitive theme already have a Monster Reborn effect in archetype, but it's probably searchable in some manner. Heck, Sword Soul is a prime example of an archetype that has a dedicated Monster Reborn card, and most of the time, they don't even play it. I mean, I think that Redox could be kind of cool in Earth Machine or Madoche, especially if you, you know, play a copy of the Earth Barrier statue, but it's definitely not going to be splashable. The same goes for Title, which should definitely be an instant staple for anything resembling Mermil or Atlantean, and probably Marincess, which is actually far better than those other two decks, but you get my point here. The decks that I'm talking about, yeah, they're going to benefit from these cards, but they're not broken or anything. Most would agree that none of these themes are actually like super high competitive and for the most part these are just rogue archetypes that no one's afraid of so I think that you just let them get their little extra piece of support. To finish the ban list out we have Zodiac Barrage being unbanned and going all the way to unlimited status which keep in mind it's going to be joining Zodiac Dryden there but Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel will be limiting Zodiac Rat Peer to I guess kind of balance things out or at least attempt to which in my opinion is pretty fine because that's where it is in the TCG and the OCG currently. Just like with the Dragon Rulers from what I've seen online, people are incredibly pleased with these Zodiac moves. And to me, moving Dryden and Barrage to three and doing it on the same list, that feels like a gigantic swing and like one of the biggest ones that I've ever seen. And this actually means that Zodiac can be a coherent deck and can do so instantly. We all know that usually Konami's MO is to move cards back piece by piece and to do so very, very slowly. The problem with that is usually by the time they give you all your cards back, 
the deck that you're playing is just complete trash and it's unplayable because they took so long. But this aggressive approach that Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel has taken has pretty much been the opposite of that. Sure, you can't detach a rat to, you know, like summon another rat from your deck, but you do have the ability to play three copies of Barrage, which is just freaking bananas because you haven't been able to do that since 2016. And just in theory, think of the consistency that Zodiac has now. I mean, you're talking about being able to play three Barrage and three Tinky and, you know, activate Tinky, search a Zodiac monster, activate Barrage, pop the Tinky, summon a monster from your deck, go into a Dryden. You haven't even committed your normal summon. If the Barrage lives, you could just use it during the next turn. Now, a friend of mine was talking about, you know, they should put Broadboard at three. And honestly, even as lenient with the ban list as I am, I mean, I am against that. That just feels like you're doing a little too much. It feels like a bridge too far. I think that I could get with putting Broad Bull at one, though. And I know a lot of people are going to say, Cap G, you've gone too far, but it does just only search one Beast Warrior. And we don't have any more fusion sub combos with Elder Entity Norton. I'm pretty sure that that card is banned in Yu Gi Oh! Master Duel. So I think that one Dryden is something I could probably handle. But my point here is that this is the type of stuff that people that gets people really excited about playing the game. You know, you think about all the people that missed Zodiac in 2016 when Zodiac got to play Triple Dryden and Triple Barrage. Those people didn't get to play with those cards. So now they finally have a chance to. You think of all the people who were playing back then and were playing Zodiac in. Yeah, Zodiac has been meta and a couple of iterations post then, but nothing quite like the glory days. Now those people get to potentially reminisce about the triple barrages and triple dridents and stuff like that so they're all interested in playing the game as well and i know some people might say well cap couldn't those people already play zodiac they could have played it last week or last month etc etc and that's definitely true but we just know that the deck wasn't really coherent i mean you couldn't play it in like a viable capacity who really wants to spend all their time building a zodiac deck or you know a deck like true draco when you just don't have all your available pieces you don't have all your support you know the deck could be so much better but the fnl list doesn't actually allow it to be you know who wants to build a deck and then just get hammered into the ground pummeled round after round after round by like even tier three decks are going to be kicking your ass so that's just more frustrating than anything but you give those decks their cards back and okay now we can actually start rocking and rolling here now don't misconstrue what i'm saying here i'm not saying that Yu Gi Oh master duel should just unban everything and let all hell break loose but i do think that they should be and are actively being more lenient with their ban list for a couple of reasons one Yu-Gi-Oh! master duel has more ban list updates and their audience is more conditioned for that i mean we literally are having two ban list updates in one right now this also means that if they unban a card and it ends up being a problem again if you're a tcg duelist like myself think cards like imperial order or fairy tale snow it's much more likely that they can just reban them or address them much quicker than they do in the TCG or in the OCG. Second, Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel metrics are just easier to track. I mean, everything in the game is digital, so they can easily track win percentages for certain cards, and it's much easier to see directly just how popular a card actually is, unlike in the TCG or the OCG, where you have to rely on things like tournament deck lists. Some on Reddit have brought up the idea that Konami is like using Master Duel as some sort of official testing grounds for bringing back banned cards, and I don't dispute that, nor do I think it's a bad idea. Again, Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel is very different because it's best of one and there's no side deck, but in general, because the game has so many more banless updates, I actually think that it's an ideal place to test ban cards coming back. And while the OCG is probably more rigid as a TCG player, I actually hope that Konami TCG at least keeps an eye on Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel and looks at these moves with the Dragon Rulers and with the Zodiac cards and maybe decides to duplicate them for the TCG. Because I have talked Thunder Dragon Colossus, I've talked Wind Up Carriers and Mighty, I've talked Prank Kids Meow Mew, and now my new personal favorite card that I want to see come off the ban list and be unbanned in the TCG is Masterpiece the True Draco Slaying King. My goodness, imagine all of those floodgates in full power True Draco on the TCG. Oh my god, I'd give those... I would give these combo players fits and just thinking about that warms my heart but i want to pass the question off to you the viewer what do you think of all this craziness going on in Yu-Gi-Oh master duel do you think konami tcg and ocg are going to use master duel as some sort of banless testing grounds and 
If you do, what, is, what are some of the moves that you think could end up translating to the TCG? I mean, OCG, that's just a whole nother animal, so we'll just leave that for somebody else. But are you excited about these moves? If you are someone who plays Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel, are you going to be in the lab testing Zodiac in a few days? And also, if you could unban any card in the TCG because the TCG FNL list won't be too far out, what card would that be? Obviously, you guys know that mine is currently Yugi or is currently Masterpiece the True Draco Slang King. Anyways, thank you guys for watching as always.